have discovered how to summon Satan. Hello, I am the Red Monk, and global warming is real. It's proven to be real, it's 100% real, and is 100% proven by human actions, and it is 100% an issue, right? It is so fucking unreal that people even try to argue something that is so blatantly proven. This shit has been proven since the fucking 70s, and there's a reason, you know, We've had the answer to it. I think as of late, we found an answer to it. I mean, this shit has been known since the fucking 70s. That freaking liquid dinosaurs, fossil fuels, have caused a rise in the average temperature. This is 100% real. It has real consequences. And it's not just the natural flow of Earth. It takes tens of thousands of years for this shit to happen naturally. But if you trap the heat in the sun cheap heat of the sun into the earth this shit will happen over hundreds of years and that is a huge fucking issue it is, it is such this is an issue such on such a large it's an issue such on a large scale it is unreal it's unbelievable just how irreversible this shit is just how far down the fuckery hole we are so i have multiple studies in the description that actually like say the fucking truth the truth is that climate change is real. But I'm going to read one of them. Just to uh, get us rolling the ball in the, the sheer depressing grand scope of this fucking issue. I say it's not as bad if a meteorite hits. But it's like a slower, smaller meteorite. And you know, it's so small that the issues would not occur in a financial quarter. So, here we go. 50 years we've known about this shit. But... That is for later in the video. We shall read uh, little bits from an article, right? Because articles make you smart. Me, as an intellectual, uh, reads many an article. And this article is called Irreversible Climate Change Due to Carbon Dioxide Emissions. And the writers are uh, Solon Salomon, Gian Casper Platter, Retinue Nutty, and Pierce Fregelstein. So, if you aren't a seasoned intellectual, you do not know that the abstract is the introduction to a study. So, I will read uh, the abstract and another part later on. And we'll talk about just how thoroughly fucked this situation is. The severity of damaging human-induced climate change depends not only on the magnitude of the change, but also on the potential for irreversibility. This paper shows that climate change takes place due to increases in carbon dioxide concentration is largely irreversible for a thousand years after emissions stop. Following uh, cessation, which is cutting off, of emissions, removal of atmospheric carbon dioxide decreases radioactive forcing, but is largely compensated by slower loss of heat to the ocean, so that atmospheric temperatures do not drop significantly for at least a thousand years. Among illustrative irreversible impacts that should be expected if atmospheric carbon dioxide concentrations increase from current levels near 385 parts per million by volume to a peak of 450 to 600 parts per million over the coming century are irreversible dry season rainfall reductions in several regions comparable to those of the Dust Bowl era in inexorable sea level rise. Thermal expansion of the warming ocean provides a conservative lower limit to irreversible global average in sea level rise of at least uh, 0.4 to 1.0 meters if 21st century CO2 concentrations exceed 600 parts per million and uh, 0.6 to 1.9 uh, 
uh, meters for peak CO2 concentrations exceeding 1,000 parts per million. Additional contributions from glaciers and ice sheet contributions to future sea level rise are uncertain but may equal or exceed several meters over the next millennium or longer. So, this is a pretty fucked issue. This is a pretty fucked issue. And if you didn't already know, you know, all the changes we've already made, like, we cannot go back in time. We are where we are right now. And where we are right now, we're not going to really, for the next 1,000 years, we're still going to have this shit. And even if we just cut all fossil emissions right now, and we just stopped it, literally, this shit grows. It's the bigger it gets, the bigger it grows. The bigger it gets, the bigger it grows. So it'll just keep on growing. Even if we stop right now, the shit will still continue to fucking grow. That is fucked. And it is caused by human action. <laughs> Make sure you say that. I, I was talking to this kid in class, and he's like, Alaska. So I'm going to read another paragraph on this study. Uh, it's further down the page, and it's about sea level rise. And that's probably, I think, probably one of the major issues about global warming is the sea level rise. And it says, Sea level rise can be expected to affect many coastal regions. While sea walls and other adaption measures might combat some of the sea level rise, figure 4 shows that carbon dioxide peak concentrations that could be reached in the future for a conservative lower limit defined by thermal expansion alone can be expected to be associated with substantial irreversible commitments to future changes in the geography of the earth. Because many coastal and island features would automatically, ultimately become submerged. That is probably one of the most fucked up fucking issues about this whole fucking thing. Like, even... If we just put our hands up and just stop using fossil fuels, which we won't, with it will take just to phase them out. It that would take so fucking long. The shit will the bigger it gets, the bigger it grows. So you know that when the ice caps melt, they release CO two, and that CO two causes ice caps to melt more, and that causes the sea level to rise. And there's this picture. I'll pull it up and edit it, and it shows. Uh, what the earth would look like if all the ice caps melt. And exponentially, exponentially, it's bound to happen. And it shows America with all the ice caps melt. And all of New York City is underwater. Florida is like a micro peninsula. It's like, Florida's like this. It's like that. It is so fucking small. The Gulf of Mexico is fucking huge now. It is... Like, how the fuck if, like, the whole population of New York would have to fucking move? And then think of all the shit that is made in New York. Think of all the shit that's in New York. Just imagine the whole snowball effect of that. And that's all around the whole fucking world. It is on such a large scope. And the main thing I want to talk about is, if you don't watch this channel too often, you know I have wonderful opinions of, of the bourgeoisie, you know, the ruling elite, and how they like to do a piss race to see who can fuck up the planet by the next financial quarter. And global warming is one of the, is it is the major example of the one of the flaws of our system. And the whole game of Monopoly, right? Let's compare our whole capitalistic government to the game of Monopoly, right? This game has been a while around for a while. We've been playing this game of Monopoly for such a long fucking time. And it has already been won. The game is fucking over. The people in charge already have won. It's like playing Monopoly, except for your opponent, has gotten all the property. So they own everything. So you're basically going in a circle and being forced to collect. They collect off of you. There's no other choice. You can't buy anything. All you can do is fucking spend because all the property is owned. The game is over. The people who already own everything just give it to their kids. And then their kids own everything. And, you know, solar power. Like, as of, you know, 2019, around the, the 70s when we first discovered global warming, 
you know, solar power wasn't that great, but we have solar power that's easier to build a solar power array for the same amount of gigawatts or whatever than to build a fossil fuel, you know, coal burning plant where they spin the magnet. It's better to have uh, solar power than just spinning the magnet off of steam because, you know, fossil fuels and coal is a resource. Uh, that's a fucking resource. And, like, Japan doesn't have that. So they have to ship everything in. They have to, like, get a boot. They have to fill it up. They have to mine it out. And solar power, for some places, is actually cheaper to put in solar panels than to sustain what they currently have. You know, or absolutely... In some places that have a lot of fossil fuels around, it's not as expensive for them because they don't have to you know ship it across the border. But it's still, solar power is a solution. It is definitely a viable option for energy output. The whole transportation is another huge part of global warming, and that is uh, a fuck show. That is a fuck show, public transportation in America. That's another video, another video on public transportation in America. But for electricity, solar powers are the better option. But in this game of Monopoly, who the opponent already has all the property, he has already won. So we're just going around and collecting. And they can collect off of this uh, gas just as well. They can collect just off of fossil fuels. And that's what they already have. And the people who own the fossil fuel plants have already, they already have it, right? They already own everything. The game, there's no competition, right? We have the competition, right? They have already won, and it just continues. And it's unsustainable, right? Because the people who run these uh, fossil fuel power plants have already won the game. And, you know, if I ever, if I got that much fucking money, these people are millionaires. They already have fucking everything, right? If I was that fucking rich dude, I'd just check out you know like paint for a living or some shit like that but these people want all the money in the world these people who run these fossil fuel power plants they want all the money in the fucking world they want to be the king of the hill they want to be on top just some dumb emotions were evolved into us when we were chasing deer with sticks but they want everything they want they have this greed and they want everything and they want everyone else to have nothing so they just maintain. They're already on top. They already have all the property on Monopoly. And they just maintain the status quo and just collect. It's not about progress. It's not about longevity. It's not about what's morally acceptable. It's about whatever can make the money flow in one direction. And it's like the worst part about that is that it's, it's not even sustainable, right? It's not about what's even sustainable. It's not about what's right, right? It's really just about continuing. It's about the status quo. That's an actual term. It's just about they get on top and just maintain it. I mean, progress and everything else is just, uh, it's not important. I mean, the fuck you gotta worry about climate change when you're an ultra billionaire, right? I mean, you, you'll be dead by the time it really hits in. And you got enough money that you can just move to somewhere where it's not a problem. You know, they have gold fucking parachutes. Like the people who live in New York don't have enough money to move out. And it's not even their fault. They're just going through their fucking life, right? You, you can't throw it on freaking consumers. They're literally, like, we were born into this fucking shit, right? You know, we can do stuff on the individual basis, but that doesn't change the big picture. It is, this issue is way, belong, way beyond the individual. And, you know, when the shit finally hits the fan and when uh, consequences actually occur, right, because they will occur, I mean, it's inevitable at this point for thousands of years. It's inevitable. And the people who are just going through their life, who were born into this shit, had no option or deal with the consequences. And the people who ran the gold power plants and their generations to come, because they have that much money, they have more money than the human mind can comprehend. They would just glide down on their gold parachute, right? It's not, they can totally just lawyer out of any lawsuit. And even then, they have all the money, more more money than the human mind can comprehend, and they still continue to uh, fuck up the planet because the consequences will not show up by the next financial quarter. It sucks, 
and this is just global warming. And it, I think it's probably the most largest scale issue. It is the most largest scale issue because we've just been throwing shit into it, right? Because we're not dealing with the consequences hardcore. A few animals have already went extinct already, right? Because it's been 50 years this shit's been happening that we've known about it. That we've known about it. It's been 50 years. Because there actually are a few like extinct mice as of now. But I'll show you a graph. You can see right around the 1800s, the shit skyrockets. It is definitely caused by human action. So, yeah, it's kind of, kind of a bummer. It's kind of a bummer. So, fuck. Yeah, it's a freaking bummer. It is a freaking bummer. So, I'm sorry to leave on such a depressing note. It's, it's just how the way things are. I think awareness is really important. You know, like, the elites in charge have only one uh, thing to do, and that is to stay in power. The people in power have one goal, to stay in power. Everything else is just a side effect. Right? The consequences are just side effects. So, that's a bummer. That is a total fucking bummer. So, to uh, leave you guys on a good note, because I cannot... I, I actually have something called guilt, where if I do something bad, I feel like shit. Like a human being should feel. If you feel bad, you should feel like shit. So, because I made you guys feel like shit, because making you realize this fucking parasites, these bourgeoisie parasites, I will leave on a very positive heartwarming note and that is a picture of my dog such a mammal has no right to exist orchid such a mammal has no right to exist you are so. You have short feet. Bitch, you bastard.